Okay, now what you gonna do, you just starting off on there, so I'm gonna go to mine as if I'm just starting on my uh, on my MetaTrader 4. And after I show you and set this up, then that's when I'm gonna go into the list. So okay. the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to your settings. Yeah. And you wanna go to all the way down to charts. Click on charts. Then you click on click. candlesticks. Wait, hold on, click, click on what, journal? Now you're gonna click on charts. Charts. Okay. Yeah. And then after charts, click candlesticks. Okay. Then turn on turn on everything: volumes, uh, ask price line, period separators, trade levels, OHLC, and data yeah. window. Hold on. Hold on. The candlesticks is at the bottom, right? Now, at the very top, it should say bar chart, candlesticks, and line chart. Uh, click on candlesticks. Nah, it don't even say that. Watch that. Hold on. Let me see if you can see this. Zooming in a little bit closer. Everybody looking hard in the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now nah, you go to settings. Yeah. And go to charts. Yeah, and then it should show your candlesticks, and then you turn on your volume, ask the uh, price line, period separators, trade lows. But I, I but I set you up on it. Uh, All right. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? We'll get it rocking. We got nine people in here now, so we're recording. On the shot, everybody out. We starting off a little bit late, but appreciate everybody coming out to the webinar, rocking with the monetary man. Today, the lesson that we're going over for sure is going to be uh, trading the news. So uh, I want to start off now uh, with asking y'all what um, you know pairs are y'all looking at for the week. Anybody want to talk about their pairs? I have my mains that I uh, go through every week, uh, which is the Euro USD, uh, USD JPY, and I, I sometimes I do the pound or I do the drag, and I alternate on them. Pretty consistent on the euro and the USD JPY. So I'm gonna keep on right. That's a good question because, like, I've been trying to figure out what pairs I want to trade. So you you said like the most volatile are the yen, the euro, uh, USD JPY, and the um. You said yeah. the pound and the USD. Uh, yes, I wouldn't say they're the most volatile. They just um. I like the way that those pairs move. Like, I mean, Euro moves really slow. Uh, yen moves perfectly, like the perfect amount of momentum to me. And Dragon moves like super heavy, so something like really, really volatile. So what I got the Dragon. Uh, that's the uh, GBPJPY. Oh, okay. Yeah, G GJ moves. It makes some good swings. I like that pair a lot too. Yeah, it, it's a good pad. It just moves real heavy, though, so. Yeah, yeah, you got to keep an eye on it. Okay, I'm finna move in now. Share my screen. I definitely got questions about that CAD this week, dog. All that old news drop, and I definitely want to see what's popping over there. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. <clears throat> okay, typically, before I pretty much start the week, I have my trade plan set up. I write it down. Okay, I know what. So you got two websites that you can go to, and we give those to everybody. Uh, we got investing.com, which we use the investing.com app, and we also use FX Street. So can everybody see my screen right now? Yeah. Pretty good? Okay. So right here, I'm, and I'm going to go to the home screen so everybody see how it is. This is uh, FX Street. No, this is uh, one of the uh, sources that we use for our uh, information. So you just go here, you go to Economic Calendar. Click on Economic Calendar. And what it's going to show you is, you know, screen pop up just like this. So you can go from what's recent to, and uh, what's coming up next, today, tomorrow, this week, next next week and then you can actually go even further on down the line to predict what's going to happen with the market so you see the flag and you see the currency pair right next to it so that lets you know what's coming and it uh 
See the color separator with the yellow, orange, and red? That's the volume. So that's basically telling you the volatility. And that's what we're looking for. Looking at Tuesday right here, uh, Clint, you was talking about with oil. Yeah. We got some major coming up. I was, I was saying I, I trade the GBP, JPY, so you got the bank stress test, you know, real high levels. We got some uh, reports. We got a speech coming in on that. The CAD, uh, it's kind of low volatility on that one. Oh. News. Go down a little bit further. That's there it is. Oh, yeah. You see very <laughs> high volatility right there. And right here, the CAD news at real high. So that's when you can really expect the move to come off of. So basically, if you look at that, you see what time it is, you know what pair you're going to trade. So this can kind of set you, set you up for like, okay, I know where the market going to pretty much move on that. So Clint, with us already looking at the CAD on there, this one to go to. Pull up the CAD straight to it. Ooh, yes, sir. Okay, so we right on the USD CAD. Hold on a second. So on the USB chart, you go to the start out with the month chart, and then on the month chart, you can pretty much see what's going on. <laughs> I, already, <laughs> I already drew it up, so uh, let me move this out. So y'all already know the, the the saying that we had: when you see the flag, get that bag. I I was already waiting for the flag on this cat, so. Oh. You see this flag pattern already forming right here. You see the pole. On the month. Yeah, this is the month, Clint. And that's why it's going to move so crazy after the news. That's why you know, you know what I mean? And look at where it's, you see where it rejected it? Look where it's. Moving average off the, oh, off the golden. Yeah. It's 61.8 on the Fibonacci. So based on the time, you see, all right, this was a strong rejection right here. So the market could pretty much reverse and it go up, or it could just come to this point and then drop. So just got to wait for the news to see what's happening. All right, ready for the week is The past, let's Past four days, it's been going up. And for uh, for Roger, the, the way we know that too, because you're still new to it, each time frame lets you know uh, each, each candlestick represents it. So right now I'm on a day chart, each one represents a day. On a four hour chart, each candlestick represents four hours, and so on and so forth. So, okay. and you'll learn it in baby pips too. Okay. So what you uh, so Clint? What was the other question that you had with the well? Uh, well, I know with um the cat. Since there's so much news dropping this week, um, I guess figuring out when to get a good entry point on the news or so. I guess when to really get in and um really get in and um that OPEC news that's dropping or whatever. Like I guess how that correlates because it's like like uh, all reserves are low. The price of oil is up two year high, like you know what I'm saying. So like, if oil is up, the CAG unit will fall and shit like that. But will, will all fall as well, or all just going to continue to rise, even though like the supply is low than the bitch, it's just still going to continue to rise. I'm about to pull them up side by side so you can see. It. WTI all right here. Okay, so I got them both on the. I got them both on the munch right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom out. I gotta get another battery in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw this one up too. to put the Fibonacci on here. And this is, and I already see the flag. You see it? The pole right here and then the flag coming out from right there. And 
and I'm just drawing this. Uh, these are just trend lines that I'm drawing across there. Oh yeah, that's live. I drew um, a flag through and some uh, trend lines on the Bitcoin that worked out so perfectly. If you look at the list with the trends that I show you, you can see this right here. I bounce off this at one, two, three, then it's the breakout. Then it's gonna come like probably to the right in between this 50 or touch the 50 mm. and reverse hard, or it's just gonna break through and shoot up. And, and I like how on the wide view you see the uh, the form of cup and handle. For sure, yeah, from right here. Uh huh. And usually after them cup and handles, it uh, it shoot up. So if the cag go up, then you can expect the reversal on this all that all to come up and probably touch this moving average right here, and then start shooting back down. And that'll be live because I don't want no high as oil prices right now. Anyway. <laughs> Hell yeah, no. Hell no. <laughs> Put my little ten dollars, fill my tank up, and keep it moving. <laughs> and on the move. <laughs> but now I'm gonna go to that. Uh, it's a video that I wanted to show y'all. That's on here. It correlates to uh, trading off the of books. Too. Just a short three-minute video. <laughs> Let's get started with the news fade strategy. When a news event is released, there's often a lot of irrational market movement. For example, this large spike occurred in the euro dollar immediately following the release of non-farm payrolls, or NFP. NFP is a measure of the number of people employed in all activities except agriculture. It is released on the first Friday of the month and is historically the most market moving news event for the dollar. Now what we are looking for with this strategy is a correction. If we look closely at the price action, about 15 minutes after the news event, we can see that the price begins to move back to previously Play. traded levels. Take a look at the price action here, after the release of the United Kingdom's CPI numbers. There was a spike of about 80 pips, and about 15 minutes later, the price action begins to revert back to previous levels. Here's the price action after German GDP numbers. Once again, there's a spike of about 45 pips, and then about 15 minutes later, the price corrects back to previous levels. There are countless examples of this occurring, and I'm going to show you my way of trading. First, I need to locate a market moving news event. This can be done by visiting the global economic calendar on dailyfx.com. And that shows the uh, sites we use. High. Then I'm going to watch for a substantial market move following the news event. Now the critical step in this strategy is timing. We want to wait 15 minutes before we do anything. After 15 minutes have passed, we're going to trade in the opposite direction of the recent price action, in anticipation that the price should revert back to previous levels. We want to set a take profit around the price levels previously traded, and a stop just outside the most recent high or low that was made after the news event came out. Placing a stop to limit potential losses is very important, as there's always a chance that the price action will continue in the initial direction of the move. Let's now look at how we can use this strategy after a news event like NFP. After looking at the global economic calendar, I can see that NFP comes out at 1330 GMT on November the 7th. If we pull up a euro dollar chart for that time, we can see that the euro dollar spiked up about 64 pips after that release. If we had implemented our strategy by waiting 15 minutes and then selling here around a price of 1.2820, sure enough, the price reverted back to the mean and we could have closed out our trade around 1.2780 for a profit of 40 pips. On this strategy, we probably would have set our stop just above this high, probably around 1.2835. So even if the price action continued in an upward direction, we would have been stopped out for a loss of only 15 pips. That's a great That's risk a good trade. Reward, reward right here. 15 pips for the potential to make 40 pips or more. So there was just a, um, just a little short video on that to show y'all. And also for, uh, for you, Roger, this is babypips.com. What are Nadex binary options? 
Traders take a position on whether a market will finish above a specific target price. The resulting payoff? Hey, man, I wrote the euro like that last week when they had that big ass news that broke on like, matter of fact, the US broke some news, the interest rates, some shit, yelling, yelling speech. Oh and yeah, the yelling speech, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wrote, I wrote the news for about 60 pips. I didn't write the correction, but I, after this video, next time I'm writing the correction too, because I wrote that bitch up for good 60 pips and was good. I should have got in when that bitch, because when I checked it about the next morning, completely corrected from all that shit it did. And, and the crazy thing about it, Drew had mentioned it too, that uh, that was her last speech of this year, I think. Man. Was pretty much determining what the Euro is going to do for the rest of the year. That's what everybody was saying. So we'll definitely have to see how they write. But, but for Roger, can you see my screen, right? Yeah. All right, this is babypips.com. Uh, it has everything on there as well. It has the economic calendar, but for you starting out trading, you go to education, you go to high school, forex, and then this is like the little free school right here. You get started and then, you know, it gets you through the basics. Once you get through the, those little basics and kind of read through, it'll make more sense in the group to the stuff that we're talking about. It won't sound so foreign to you. And the cool thing about it, you can learn on your own time and just keep up with the group and trade your demo and kind of do them, you know, when you can. That's how you catch on. Oh, yeah. So let me ask a question. This is the highest, uh, like, the Bitcoin's been since so far? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Everybody waiting for it to jump to uh, hit 10K. Matter of fact, uh, let me let me go to it. And this is a free, uh, remember this, the, the free webinars on, uh, that I do on Monday. So I give up, I don't give up all the info that I tell everybody in the group on these, but I'm going to put the Bitcoin though for you. Hey, buy back in around 9,700. That's what I'm looking to get back in, man. 97 or some change and ride that motherfucker. Baby Pips is so gangster though. It really breaks it down at your own pace. You get to see everything in the West, you know what I'm saying, laid out and shit. And they really show you Forex is shitting on futures, stocks, all that. Yeah. It and crypto shitting on that. <laughs> I got to put this the whole screen after this bitch. Okay, right now, Bitcoin trading at $9,709 right now. Hey. Waiting for it to get to the 10. So this is the month chart. You see this whole candlestick right here, starting from right here. This is the first all the way to my the God. That's how much Bitcoin is moved. So let's look at this. Let me draw this support and resistance so people can see why everybody's so goddamn excited about Bitcoin. This is why. If you made an investment when at the beginning of this month, Bitcoin was $6,100. Right now, it's damn near almost $10,000. Like, you know how much money people made off their move in one month? Like, that's, <laughs> that's shit crazy. Shit, it's fast. This was great. You know, on the, if I go to any other currency, but I can go back for years and see what it's done. On Bitcoin, I can only go as far back as March 2013, 2012. But you can already see the pattern though, because the patterns always pretty much be the same. We'll go back, come back down, right? Yeah, it's, it's gonna come back down probably, touch here, bounce on this 100%, probably this 8,000 mark, and then go back up to that 10,000. I mean, we'll see. See how it right. What other question, what question you had? Who, who, me? Yeah, somebody had something about Bitcoin, another one. I don't know. This, I know. I know it's moving fast. That's what I want to see. Everybody, everybody talking about Bitcoin now. Yeah, this this definitely going to be the future. I mean, just because of the, high, the way it works, you know, there's no feds involved in it. There's no major banks and nothing like that. And the money being generated from computers. So it's it's pretty much easy. And I was kind of reading up doing the analysis because people saying, you know, uh, Bitcoin going to touch 50000 a coin, $100,000 a coin. And it's very possible. And it's basically how I see why. Like, uh, 
say if you are a company, right? Say if all the major corporations have to start get say they want to come up with their own cryptocurrencies. And with their own cryptocurrencies, they start mining. So they are they generate their own currency for their own company. And they'd be like, okay, if you want to shot with us, you got to use our currency to buy from us. Now think about this. If the whole world do this, and they we getting set up for it because we are getting digital wallets, and it's gonna be like a long stream of like cryptocurrencies. That's basically how it's gonna basically jump up and get to that amount. And I think the value of the dollar gonna pretty much kind of plummet because we using digital. I mean, we making money without actually using a natural resource. Right. And uh, if you read the news, you'll see how they talking about uh, how different uh, countries. Uh, going through natural uh, natural disasters, it's hard for them to get funded. But it's easy to send cryptocurrencies and have access to them. It makes sense. Hey, my nigga, um, was it like Puerto? Not Puerto Rico, but somewhere in South America, they motherfucking natural current uh, national currency is so ass. Them boys say we go convert it all to Bitcoin. That's crazy. We go use Bitcoin as currency. Yeah, those small countries, bro, like, if you really read, because they don't say it on the news all the time, but it depends on what station you watch, but a lot of them are converting to cryptocurrencies, like these these smaller countries. So you, you heard, like, that, that Litecoin and Ethereum? Yes, uh, those are the top three uh, that's under Bitcoin. Bitcoin would be considered the gold. I think Ethereum is the silver and the, uh, no, hold on, yeah, Ethereum is silver and Litecoin would be uh, copper. And, and those are becoming too. Yeah. So I mean, but though them them are gonna be the top three for sure. Like always, I feel like one that's on my radar real tough is Ripple. I'm yeah. Really Ripple. And you know who I ain't fucking with right now? I ain't fucking with Bitcoin Cash, bro. Bitcoin yeah, Cash. Man, I don't know. And Bitcoin Gold kind of I'm kind of shaky with that too right now. Yeah. There's so many different types though of Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, with cryptocurrency, let me let me give you an example of this. Um, this list right here, these are all cryptocurrencies. And I'm going to go to show all. I'm going to see. It's probably even more on here. Show all. Well, this is all they're giving me. So these are all the cryptocurrencies right here. You got Ripple, Litecoin, Litecoin, Litecoin Euro. You got the Ethereum and then you got Bitcoin. So them basically the main ones I was, that we was just talking about. So when it goes red, it goes is dropping. Oh uh, yeah, when you when you see it turn red, basically it's selling. When it turn blue, it's going up. But the market moves so fast, it's ticking. So it's like if I go to the minute chart on this, you see how I mean that's how the market moving. Like that's absurd. And you never seen a live trade and then neither have you. Oh. It should be the demo. Simple though, bro. Oh, you right. You sure right. I forgot about that. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's funny as shit. Hell yeah, we was just talking about that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you gotta you gotta come in with a nice point on one on that one, baby. <laughs> yeah. They have put it down to point ten already. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. Yeah, point on one, man. <laughs> That's crazy. They all had to go all the way to under a penny to go through. That motherfucker is crazy, though. I'm talking my opponent, but hey, Mooch, we go to that. Hmm? Okay, so right there, right here is my entry point. And the reason I jumped in on this one, just, just for the example, because it's already consolidating a little bit right here. It was like, fuck it, why not? You, know. you can, you, I, and I kind of, and I kind of see the flag forming on that bitch right there. Yeah, you see. 
Uh-huh. Yeah, I think it's gonna break and go up. I let okay. it run. And then I said the stop loss is what's the nah these that help me a bit. Yeah, this is a minute short. At a point fifteen on JAFX, if it rises up to ten, that's a wreck. That shit crazy. Man, those right. prices are crazy, bro. Man. Those prices are crazy on that Bitcoin. Yeah, how much money you can make like this? Shit. Yeah, people been cashing that. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hop on the wave. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You gotta get on the wave because that shit. It's like, what's going on here? Like, yeah. yeah think about it. if y'all catching on in that, like, like I showed in the example, Bitcoin was at sixty one hundred earlier this month. Like, yeah. like down here. So imagine, like, if we get in and after it touch ten, I say after ten is about fifteen, then twenty, shoot up to twenty. And, and close that, then you can do a point ten or fifteen. If you catch it in the wing, wait. Oh, you wait to pull on five, get some legs on it. <clears throat> hey, you know what? Speaking of, real quick, you know it's real like a real heads up too. So you get in on a trade at an acceptable lot size, and maybe you got in like one or two, and it's it's going crazy. And you come back and you say, you know what? Fuck it, I'm for the reach, and I'm for the pin a, a higher lot size. No deal, bro. <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah. No deal. If that wasn't part of the original plan, just next time at the entry, you get in with a high lot size. Don't go reaching. Because I had one on the Bitcoin. Dog. After I cashed out, I went to reaching and put in a point .35. Don't. <laughs> I was like, ah, whole ass niggas. See, you learn your lesson. Don't go reaching for waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, stick to your lane, man. Slow boogie with it. It'd it be hard though, cause sometimes you'll just you'll get a little greedy because that money comes so fast. It be, I had a a point oh two in, and the I had a point twenty five, and the point twenty five was up to like a wreck, and the point oh two was like seventy one. I'm like, man, I had a couple point twenty fives in. It'd be going down. So let me go ahead and just reach. Nope. <laughs> It been dropping. It hit that sixty one point eight and started dipping. Mm. Yeah, we knew it was gonna drop, bro. Yeah. Hey, Woo! Hey, that's why I was like, hey, yeah, hey, that hoe taking a stupid deal. Drop down and that's get your eagle minute. on, girl. Yeah, that's a minute. Mm hmm. And that's what's so alive about trading versus investing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you had. Took all your bread and put it in Bitcoin and it's falling. You ain't trying to hear that shit. You all, oh, man, come on, dog. But hey, we're trading. Short, short Bitcoin. Look at this, bro. It's finna break the zone. You see yeah. the zone? Ooh. I just, yeah, I jumped out there, but I jumped in the steel quick. Hey, if it breaks 83, if it breaks 8,400 on a file, dog, I'm, I'm getting in and trying to ride that bitch to 50. Ooh. Yeah. Hey. Hey, my yeah. man. <laughs> Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's how trading works, folks. You be sitting up there doing something, and all of a sudden it catches your eye. The right, the right twinkle, the right overbought area, the right oversold area, the oh. right new zone broke, and you hey, hop yo, in. Look. Yo, look. Ooh. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Hey, how much? Hold on. Look how much money is that. <laughs> Wee. Right down and get your, come on. This is crazy. That's a rack that fast. Ooh, that's a rack. <laughs> Drop down and get your ego on, girl. That is crazy. Man, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck? I just, <laughs> dropped that much. I just left for like a minute, bro. That shit gone. What the hell? Yeah, hey, yeah. Do you see the zone that I drew? That's why I had hopped in. I was like, it's either going to break. Hmm. 
that shit crazy. I though. think. Oh, let me see what's going on here. I might have to jump in. Yeah. Hey, you use that simple FX uh, broker, right? I was looking at that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to make an account right now because I, I heard I heard some good reviews about that. But don't you gotta have a certain amount of money in that, right? Yeah, it's a certain amount of money you gotta have, and it's a certain way that you gotta put your money in there because they don't accept U.S. brokers, but it's a certain way we do what we get. Okay. It. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bet. Bet. But you can still make one though. Yeah, yeah, I'm just making it right now just to have it. Yeah. Ooh, he's jumping out the gym, man. Okay, hit that hundred percent. If you do a full engulfing and touch this blue, I like close out. But I'm gonna just wait and see. Here it come. It looks like it's about to do it. Damn, bro, Bitcoin is fucking nuts, bro. You up three hundred dollars on the point oh one. Yeah, look how it went back down. That shit crazy. I'm over here drawing up the flag on mine, setting it up on the four hour. See, see how it rejected off that line I drew. Mm hmm. Off the zone. Sure. It's right back. Ooh, right back to the train. And what time is it right now? 745. 743. 743. Okay, so another 15 minute candle from the form. Let's see. Hey, if you're in the group, I'm gonna share a screenshot of the flag I just drew. And if you're not in the group, damn. <laughs> Yeah, I just got the mug. Oh, my phone my music. But yeah, this a this a good markup of the zone right here. Um, good. Cool. A flag is a good thing. Yeah, the, when you see the flag, get that bag. That's that's the motto for sure. When you see the flag, get that bag. Look at it. Look, look. You see the bag after the flag? Let me show you. Let me show you, man. <laughs> This right here would be like a reverse flag, so. I so it'd be a flag down, right? Yeah, no, let's see. I'm okay. Gonna, see how I'm drawing it right here? Yeah. Boom. Let me see, it's already drawn across up there. Perfect. And that's breaking that zone. Now, damn, it's at 2600 right now. Finna hit three racks. Y'all catch, hey, catching this shit, huh? Hey, Clint, you sent that shit in the group? Hey, you damn right I sent it in the group and I'm in on this <laughs> real quick. <laughs> I'm up here quiet in the bitch plotting my shit. Hell yeah, I'm in. I'm proud of the bitch. Yeah, this is dope. And we live too. This was, this was live. This was dope about it. And we recording it. Getting the, the whole market moves. But this this is like a prime example why everybody love Bitcoin so much. Oh yeah, it's definitely finna come down to 38. If you don't I'm waiting for it to break the zone, you see how it's kind of bouncing off of it. Strong resistance. This is gonna break it and hit here at 50%. If it break the 50, the minimum would be 38.2 retracement. So I'm looking for it to come to 38.2. I think it's going to smash in between the zone and get to the next one. Yeah, I see why I'm saying it. Yes, sir. And see, I, I traded on the 30-minute chart line, and on the 30, it's right at the uh, middle Bollinger Band, you know, that happened to that sale territory. And, and, and so that 30 that is bouncing off for you is my middle Bollinger Band. So that's crazy how they all line up. And that's what I like about Bitcoin too. Like some trades you get in and it's sit negative for a while. If you get in on Bitcoin at the right time, that bitch eat the shit out the spread. Yeah, it's gonna destroy it. 
If it go the right way. Nash coming uh, up again. So it's either going to touch the zone I had and then come back down. Or it's just going to come all the way back up and match it. So we'll see. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is testing, holding your nuts face. Mm -hmm. And you know what else, too? Because, like, you're holding your nuts. <clears throat> I'm riding in the 30, and on the 30, the stochastic is not uh, oversold. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if I was holding in the 30 and this bitch is oversold, I'd be nervous as you're going to bounce back up. But that bitch is still coming down on the stochastic. So, I'm like, shit, I, 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 I could chill. And, and if this bitch does a mean ass abrupt on the stochastic, I'd be like, all right, you know, I guess I'll right, let me get up out of and chill for a second. <laughs> So you see what it said? Uh, it's right here on 100%. Bounced off the line that I drew down here. So, like I said, nuts. My alert just went off, let me know that it touched the zone. So that put me on watch to see if it's gonna shoot up to shoot up or continue with the downtrend. And I'm like, I'm gonna zoom. Perfect. This is dude called JC. I don't know if y'all follow him on uh on Instagram. Chinese dude, like he be killing shit. Like his he draws charts and shit like this too. Like he be like he be making M's off his shit. <laughs> that should be crazy. He look like he don't never motherfucking lose. <laughs> don't ever fucking lose. Looks like it's been set up though. Yeah. Got some more people still tuning in, logging in. We checking out Bitcoin right now. So if you're just watching, like within the last like 15 minutes, Bitcoin took a major dip. So uh, it was at like 90, like 9700. That's all the way came back down, retraced from 96. Hey, shout out to them boys who still got Thanksgiving pie. <laughs> but, hey, as long as you ain't eating Thanksgiving turkey still, you good to go. You can get the, still, you can get the, with the dessert still. No, <laughs> <laughs> you know what they going to have on that turkey? <laughs> <laughs> potatoes. Yeah, you would have thought it's Thanksgiving the way he is. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's that discount pie, so you gotta enjoy it. <laughs> you, know what I'm you only got about two hours while it's still good. <laughs> so you got you gotta make sure you get that last minute in for his spoil. <laughs> Warming up on nine seconds to this <laughs> <right there. laughs> Okay, it's 7.50, so we're going to come up on 8 o'clock. We're going to see what this four-hour candle do. It retraced down. And it came right back to the zone. Ooh. You seen it? It hit the zone and dipped down like a motherfucker. Does it want smoke with the zone or not? Let's find out. Bad motherfucking fire. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 It touched his own and retraced hard. Real hard. Hmm. 
but it's still a bearish candlestick. That's why I'm trying to see what it's going to do. I think it might just keep on dropping. That's too been bearish. Still bearish on the four hour. I'm gonna check out what you're doing soon. Pull up the double screen. And as I'm navigating through, they can kind of help me see how I be doing everything. Bro. What happened, bro? <laughs> I got to get another battery for this. How I said. Hey, Christian, I'm, I'm going to have to head out, bro. I'm going to holler at you whenever I'm ready to pull up on the team and stuff like that, all right? Okay, that's a bit. Just shoot me a message, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure, bro. I'll keep in touch. All right. All right, bro. See, on the Euro, it's looking like it's about to show up pretty soon. Oh, hell yeah. Euro is uh, short and it's taking a crazy deal right now. Checking that hoe out at the perfect time. Another flag right here. Breakout about to start. It's probably gonna come down to that 50. So I still, I show Euro right here and take profit at the 38.21.18074. Man, it looks like the London session gonna be moving. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be about to as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take a nap around 9 p.m. And get up around three and see what's popping. This is crazy. They're coming back up to match with the other one. There. The zone I had went away. I can still see it though. What time do London session open? 2 a.m. New York, uh, would that be 3 a.m. your time? I'm in New York, so that would be 3 here. Well, 2 a.m. your time, whatever. Oh, 2 okay. okay. Time. Oh, London time. Okay, that's my time. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Matter of fact, you say New York, huh? Yeah. Um. Oh, one second. I'm gonna screenshot something and add it to the group for you, cause uh, there's a good website that like. It, it takes your time zone and give you every session uh what time they start for you. I'll put it in the group real quick. Okay, good looking. No problem. Got four more minutes. And then the four hour candlestick on for them. I 
Bears, candlesticks, and oh, yeah, I like seeing it. It is going to break the rigid. It's DJ Oh, you ain't shooting up crazy. Did they just have some news or Thing for New York in there. Okay, I'm gonna go look at it now. We got one of our members out there in New York. Ain't Jay Z out there? You having a concert? Yeah, he is. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Evidently, it's crazy out there in that area right now. I don't even go over there now. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it, I, listen, is you go there, you you're gonna get lost. Dang. Just so many people. It's crowded right now. What part of New York are you from? Well, I'm not from New York. I'm originally from um, the Caribbean, but I live in Brooklyn. Okay, I'm from the Bronx. What part of the Caribbean? My dad's folks from Trinidad. Oh, well, I'm from Grenada. That you, y'all like Sister Island, so we're Sister Island. I'm saying y'all across the water. Yeah, I could take a boat to you, and you could take a boat to me. Yeah. <laughs> and bro, you from uh, New York too? Yeah, I'm from the Bronx. Oh, from the Bronx, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, we got the, we got people from everywhere, like <laughs> yeah, multicultural. We got to touch everywhere. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really trying to get it around the world. Y'all missed one webinar. Uh, somebody jumped in with a foreign accent, and we didn't know what the hell was going on, and they were <laughs> translating what we were saying. <laughs> hey, only thing we could make out of the boy said that became a forex. Donald Trump. Wasn't his name Donald Trump? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Donald Trump was Larry. This shit was crazy. Damn. Okay, let's see. That four hour hit? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Oh, 
hard retracement up on Bitcoin and the hard retracement up on Euro still. And USD JPY just jumping out the gym. Mm. And it's all on the four hours. The USD JPY rejecting off the hundred percent. So it's getting real heavy movement. Uh, on the Euro that I'm looking at, it's sitting right in between the hundred and the sixty-one point eight. So it's kind of consolidating right there waiting to make it break. With Bitcoin, back. It's still sitting within the zone. It's like let's zoom in. Bro, we watching this. I have a question for I think it's Bitcoin. Uh-huh. Whereas I I think I see the doji. Is it that I don't know if I say it correctly? Yeah, that's right. It's called a doji. Right right where it hits the high, where it started taking the higher high. Okay, let me zoom in. Where? You gotta go back down some more. Oh, down some more? Okay. Yeah, it was like right, right there, right in the middle. I don't know what numbers that it was at. Right here? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Pretty, mm -hmm. So pretty much when you see a doji now in where it sets in between those panels, does it indicate that both both sides pretty much pushing their ends? Is that how it's sitting? Or uh, it's sitting based on but it's gonna keep rising? Well, this this right here, let me show you the this would be considered a hammer right here. Mm -hmm. These are dojis. Dojis are much smaller, but they kind okay. of finish the same thing. See, this would be considered like a double doji. It's not finished forming, but this kind of like would be a double doji. This is a hammer. Mm -hmm. or a, it will it's a hammer this way if it's facing the other way you call it a pin bar that's what i uh use a lot to trade off of the pin bar show a reversal for a sale the hammer show a, a continuation of a buy so zoom, okay. as I zoom in on this four hour it's a really really strong hammer right here okay so it's a good chance that it could just rock it past this point but at the same time, it, it does have to still come down to make up for some of this. So we're trying to catch it. Um, so that wick for so that wick on that hammer, does it it indicate that it hits its low, it's low? It, it, I think it's low, it's low. Lower low. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you look, look how long this uh, one candlestick is. It, it goes right. past all of these and then it even touches to the lowest point to where this one was. Yeah. And if you're looking at time-wise, this four hours, this four hours, four hours, four hours, four hours, four hours. So this is a dominant, this is a real strong indicator, right? Yeah, here. it is. It definitely is. So it's it pretty much telling you that it could go either way or it can go straight up. Um, based off the hammer, it's looking to go up. And Bitcoin been shooting through the roof. If it was a right. pin bar, then I would be like, okay, I feel like it's going to go down. But... For this short particular scalp play for four hours, I see it going down just to get it quick down, but it's going to still continue to catch the trend and go up. Like if I was to draw the line, let me, I'm going to make it bigger so you can see the full trend line. Okay, yeah, it's going to keep its trend. On the bottom here. Dang, what is that you're using? Uh, I'm using a trend line. This you see, uh, right on your uh, meta meta trader. Your dicks, uh -huh. dicks, you click right here. It says draw trend line. Then you go uh -huh. to the very bottom point. Uh -huh. The lowest point. Uh, and then you draw the line up to. Well, goodbye, back in ninety-seven thirty-five. I got it. The best place to draw it is on on the money chart. Yeah. So you, the month chart you draw from lowest to high. Yes. Okay. So I draw. I I catch it right here or right here. You know, you know, and I'm gonna draw the Fibonacci on it too. And get your evil on, girl. And it's good that you. It's good that you ain't ain't trying to like trade the pool, baby. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, well, no, 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 I do got a point on one and just. To this real quick, you know, but, but as far as really man, trading now, nah. nah, nah, I got pop, bro. Like, uh, that's the good part I love about trading. If you lose, there's no secret why. 
there's always the exact reason you violated this rule. Now, you wouldn't even trading right there. You already had profit. That HTTP, you was being greedy. It's always the reason why. And I try to trade. I, and that's why what Drew be saying. I don't be trading pullbacks while I shouldn't. Because I traded the pullback at the good day and got popped in the mouth about 180. And say, okay, my bad. I'll try that. Okay, I'll stick to the plan. Yeah. I'm keeping an eye on it. You know what I'm saying? I know. I'm so scared. You know I'm so scared. Okay. I'm waiting for the American move. It was right on that 50%. See the flag, hit the bed. It just moves slow as hell. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the Yo, bitch ass zero. It's a great training wheels pair, but it's a, ooh, it's a slow yeah, dance. Yeah, you know, you take out your training wheels. Yeah. So if you need to slow dance with somebody, the Euro, but if you're looking for somebody to twerk, not the Euro. <laughs> yeah. Man. Hey, you know what, though? She, she might be a slow twerker, a dirty, a, a dirty wine. <laughs> now, Bitcoin doing a dirty wine right now. You say Bitcoin what? Bitcoin doing a dirty wine right now. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. Taking his sweet time. Come on now. Take it mine. I tell you one thing about Bitcoin though. Once that bitch start going, oh, you just gotta hold on and don't lose your goddamn mind. Now hold on to your hat. <laughs> Uh, what did they say news wise about uh Cyber Monday? Was the sales up worldwide? You know what? They did hit record highs, but it was a little turnout though, so I think it just cost <laughs> matter of fact, hold on real quick. Let me check investing.com the app because that's a great ass app to use all the time. It really, really is. I'm gonna pull it up on there. <laughs> 40 minutes ago, all prices fall over uncertainty over OPEC output. All prices fall. Be looking at act a fool in the morning. Wow, that's crazy. We was just looking at this shit. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Before the news even said, you can you can Man. see. Yeah. Look at that dragon uh that you had up just earlier. Oh dragon, yeah, this GBP JPY. Seeing how it just turned. I said, okay, okay. Hold on, let me let me pull it up. Hey, but like I was saying though, it was showing the flag on that day chart, so I don't know, it could be getting ready to make a little move. Yeah, you can see it on the day choice zoom night. Oh yeah, it's a nice little flag pattern. Ooh. Nice flag. <laughs> like a perfect. <laughs> this on the day choice too. Let me draw it out. It even got the pin boy at the top. Yep. Uh, we know how you fuck with them pin balls. Yeah, and it's breaking off the moving average. What moving average is this? The 800 day moving average. 
Man, I should have got the week. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> hey, yo. What's up, man? <laughs> That's easy money, man. Hold on. Then I'm going to draw the trend line from the very bottom. Y'all see where I'm drawing it at? Mm. Come all the way up to the top right there. Mm. So you can zoom out and get a good look at that, and you can see it perfect. Mm, let me write that down. Hold on, shit. <laughs> what <we'll> choice <charge> that? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. What time frame you on? Uh, what time frame I'm on? Yeah. I'm on the um, I'm on the week. This is eight low. Can we take it? I've been sitting on that one. Go to Ryan High School. He had me pouring in my kitchen in no time. Then I got to draw one more. Oh, let's see. Draw from the top of here to this corner. We won't draw, but y'all can y'all can pretty much see where it's at. Yeah. Draw this. So yeah, that's a that's a perfect flag pattern sitting right there. Anybody that got a question on that, if you're in the group, just look at the old webinar and you will see how we can, how we get in on that one. Yeah. Hey, Bitcoin making the move. You still bearish? Yeah. It's still bearish. It's just kicking it. Yeah, it's just it's moving real slow right now. Mm. Bitcoin. And the thing about on Mondays, the market typically moves slow on Mondays, especially when you have a lot of uh, major news that's coming up. I got some numbers on the Black Friday real quick. So uh, Thanksgiving and Black Friday, about seven point nine billion was pumped into the market retail sales, and as of uh, four thirty today, it was at Cyber Monday was up to four billion, and they expecting it to go up to six billion. It's crazy though, because even though all that money was pumped in the market, the dollar is still trending low because of the the news broke last week about inflation rates and shit expected to hike. It's crazy how and Drew said in the group that uh, no matter how much retail is pumped in there, it can't it can't fix the inflation scale. That's true. Yeah, that's that's true. It don't matter how much money circulating, the value of it, I mean, still don't, <laughs> don't matter. So it's like, so it's really like the dollar's low, boys out here spinning bread that they don't got. It's funny because even with our charts, we could have told you that shit. <laughs> 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 then you check out the charts and you see the dollar low, but sales at record highs. Like, boy, okay, I'm fucking around. And you just said that you expect the dollar to. With behavior like that, it's easy to see why the dollar will plummet and fuck around May or April or some shit like that really go down for a while. And man. Yeah, look what's going up during this whole time. Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies. So that's what's going to replace it. Like I was telling you, that's how Bitcoin going to hit them them high numbers like 50,000 a coin and shit like that because companies going to get smart. They're going to mine their own coins. They're going to mine their own coins. And they're going to use that. It's pretty much leverage for you to buy from the company. The dollar, I mean, they're pretty much relying on household income to build the dollar. And they realize right now everybody's becoming their own boss. No one's going to build a dollar no more. So Bitcoin is taking over and they're smart. 
they, they're coming in in perfect time and when the dollar is weak and they're going to just go skyrocket and it's going to everything is pretty much internet now paper that don't matter no more the currency of the internet is really what bitcoin is really about to do to us they're about to show us a new way of life and you're, exactly, you're exactly right they said um coinbase is and that's the number one user um for buying and selling cryptocurrencies it had a really high after Thanksgiving. So people were chilling with their family, like, oh, get on Bitcoin, get on Bitcoin. All these people signing up. Yeah. The As record for Google up, is value. crazy right now. Everyone is asking questions about Bitcoin because they're trying to figure out what is this Bitcoin? What can it do? Like right now, anybody that I come in contact with, they just want to hear about Bitcoin. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to learn more. For sure. And you see. You in the group, you see how everything be. Yeah. Easy, bruh. You know, that's funny that you say that because that's so true. People don't be wanting to hear shit about trading or forex, whatever. It's Bitcoin, bro. What's my Bitcoin? I have to tell my own sister. <laughs> Invest in it and get $100 Bitcoin in the rise and it's up like you know, your $100 is worth 104, 105 or some shit, but versus the trade in it, you know, so, but if you will learn to trade Bitcoin, you got to trade Forex and, bro, I'm trying to learn to trade, I'm trying to Bitcoin, bro, Bitcoin, like, well, you got to hold on now, we got to do some Forex shit and you got to go to baby clips. It, 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 it's this shit, young boy. You know what I'm saying? It's low yeah. to that shit, man. People, I, yeah. I, they I be so ready. Go ahead. Have you guys ever heard about the uh, mining Bitcoin? How they allow the Bitcoin to pretty much mine? Yeah. You talked to that nigga Drew about that one. Hell yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. That nigga Drew got the whole mine system on dick, boy. Yeah. It's, a, it's a way of, of, of for come up. I mean, even that guy who lost his, his hard drive, that's what he pretty much was doing. He was mining and he just lost his stuff. Yeah, he, he fucked up. <laughs> go ahead and jump off a cliff. Just find a cliff and jump. Jump. I'm going to look for his 72 minutes. Is it? We're going to start mining next year. Yeah. That's the plan. Oh. Yeah, I was reading up on it, and it seemed like, you know, that's pretty much what Bitcoin is relying on, is miners to help them open the door to see how, you know, we relate to the internet and how we spend our money. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it seemed like that's the way of building their Bitcoin money, too. You, you earn a, a stronger currency with them, you mine, because they put on, they give you, like, a certain percentages towards their share, which is smart. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you get a payout of like a Bitcoin every month. But think about if the value going up and you're getting a payout of one Bitcoin every month, then that's showing like how much, like that's a major payout. Say one month, yeah. you last month you would have got a $6,000 coin. And yeah. this month you'll get a $9,000 coin. Like that's, that's all adding up. And your computer just sitting there. Just you ain't even doing that. You just set the numbers, set your watts, and you're good. Yeah, yeah. that's it. That, that's it. That's how it works. And, and I don't want to say too much on the webinar. I'll say more in the group for sure. But when you think about the challenges of mining, like you'll get to it, like you're really doing some serious mining and electricity. But if there are places where you can, you know, get rid of those uh, disadvantages, you can really act a fool. Like I said, I ain't going to put too much in the webinar on that one, but the group, that's why I love that next year mining shit. That's going to be some real powerful shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy. We ready for this. Mm-hmm. Think enough. No, we're going to be on. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, and that Bitcoin kind of rising up there, huh? <laughs> I got to work with my boss. is like, man, you know Bitcoin is high as it's ever been. Hey, can you put me down for a thousand? I'm like, man, wow. hey, I ain't responsible, but if I fuck up, so I, I'll put that on it because somebody knows what they're doing. But other than that. And I told a dude the other day, I said, bro, the, it's nothing that the bread can do right now. What I need for you to do is when I'm out getting some need to tell me that something is starting to dip down to a new zone. If you can't give me that, I can't do nothing with your bread. I, I cause I don't cause I don't want to split it. Once my plate come in, they I'm gonna give you 30%. Nah, nah. Yeah. Killing me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, but um quick question. Mm. Would it be 
downloads because I just got my just got this new laptop. It'd be better to download. Oh, okay. Yeah. Would it be better to download? Uh, <laughs> would it be better to download the uh, MT4 off of uh, Simple FX or just just a random uh, free download? Cause I don't want to be downloading no pirates and shit. Uh, just you uh, download Simple FX because it it give you more to play with. You can trade. Uh, you, you can trade forex. You can trade Bitcoin. And you can trade stocks too. Oh yeah. You gotta play around. <laughs> Bit. No, I'm I'm saying the I'm saying the uh, the MC4 platform itself. Oh, just that. Yeah. I, I already set up simple. I'm finna, you know what I'm saying, get in and get out. But I'm saying like as far as what you talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, download the app. Uh, download it off your laptop and on your phone. They both cor correlate with each other. Yeah, and yeah, I, I like the. Uh, the simple FX MetaTrader 4. When you Google simple FX MetaTrader 4, it'll take you right to the link for them boys. Use that one. Because when you use that standard MetaTrader 4, sometimes they don't find a broker. So I'd be like, fuck all that and just use the broker's MetaTrader 4. Yeah. Score business. Score business. We got a little, uh, little mini trader. Say what's up to the monetary baby. Hey, hey there, monetary baby. baby. Yeah, hey, we had another monetary baby in the uh, last uh, last week. Hey, they the future. Children are our future. Uh, <laughs> think about my hey, shield. That boy can sing. That boy can sing. <laughs> and I was thinking about because we got monetary women. I was thinking about the monetary kids too, like maybe like 12 through 17 or something like that. I'm like, trying to take school, 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 school. School. You know, and ain't doing nothing but maintaining demo accounts, learning the terms, learning to read the market. Could you imagine getting a heads up at this shit at 12 instead of in the 20s and shit like that? Be fucking I'm fucking the world up. <laughs> <laughs> Building shit. Ain't, ain't, ain't reaching for nobody's shit or whatever. We learning together. We trading individually and shit like that. Like that's. That's that real wealth building shit here. Yeah, really, really is. So would y'all be looking into uh, monetary kids? Come on, stop. Um, that's something that's gonna come later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all be smart though. I mean, I have two kids, and right now I'm like, I'm teaching them. Listen, you are your own boss, and you're responsible for your own. Mm -hmm. So that will be a definitely a great lesson. Yeah, yeah, we definitely want to bring. I mean, we still get really? women together. Like, you know, we got the the women coming, the group that's coming together real well too. Yeah, so, we coming yeah. strong. We coming strong. We coming to represent. Yeah. What, what Ashley? Is? What Ashley? Is? <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, he asked for you. Hold on. <laughs> Ashley here. She listening over there, printing some shit right now. Hold on. Yeah, Excuse me, sir. I'm here. I'm Hey, I'm, I'm trying to make sure you, you know, you bring out the heat for the women. Oh, yes. Indeed. Oh, 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 indeed. Yeah, he rejected it back down to the same point. That's Oh, yeah, I would for sure. Man, let's just move with Yeah, I'm excited about that. You think it's I, I think it's going long, bro. Yeah. Shit, I think it's going to jump out the gym. Hey, is that the yin master himself? No, nah, this is the cad, the yin. I'm going to go to... 
Now I'm talking about RJ. Hey, do they come? Move the same way, but not necessarily. I'll be seeing that, like, you know, sometimes if they're dragging, dropping, you know, they're in a drop too. They move the same, but not exactly, but they kind of follow each other, basically. They are following. Yeah. But looking at the weak chart of the uh, yen, it's dropping. It's crazy. Mm hmm. You know, it's crazy too, because when I had zoomed out on the month, it looks like it was finishing like one of the uh, waves on the Elliott wave, and it was getting ready to go into a mean ass uptrend. When it finished, but room to go down for. Then when you zoom in on the weekend, you say it's falling. It's like ah, it's finishing off that other part before it bounces up and go act straight food. So I know I have seen the Elliott wave, but kind of explain it a little bit more of how it works. Okay, well uh, you know it was live. You know how Fibonacci is like the spiral of the universe, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the Elliott wave is, think of a pine cone, how the pine cone is like equally ridged and going up until like it gets smaller and smaller. That's basically the Elliott wave. And the Elliott wave, it come in like, it come in uh, three major waves. It goes uh, major wave one, retrace, major wave two, retrace, major wave uh, three. Then on that last retrace, it starts to put a corrective zone. And uh, it start like, it start uh, like falling out. When we go to like the month, it uh, it plays out like it plays. It's playing out like textbook. I shared it in the group last night. It's playing out textbook that whenever it finishes, it turns around. It's gonna be on a meme as long, and that's gonna be gangster. <laughs> but 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 to be fair though, it's still gonna be going down. I don't know when it's gonna turn around because it was bouncing right at the fifty. So it's supposed to go down for a little bit on the short term and long term. Maybe on the month, it's gonna turn around and go up for a while. And I'm gonna be here for both of them. <laughs> Straight up. How did it looks plan? like Bitcoin about to break the zone. Sure is. And I mean, I mean, scalp too. Oh, there you go. Let's go. And looking at my moving average, you can see I got the five day, and I think this was the thirteen. You should cross about right here. Once they cross, this one is going to break down to this next one, then probably continue on with the trend. Break Which it. did you use to get those uh, moving averages in there? Is that the alligator with the, uh, and you just put in 800? Yeah. You just put in 800, the 5, and the 13. Or you can use what's called the Ripley. Ribbon. You said who? The Ripley? Ribbon. Oh, ribbon? Yeah. Ribbon in the sky. <laughs> this I'm gonna see my take profit right there. Um. And this is just for, yep. The Bitcoin don't go up like a motherfucker. Exactly. <laughs> it's gonna shoot through the roof. What's that TP? I can't see that. What's that say? Uh, 96.14.41. Ah, yes.
Yeah, I'm gonna rock with the little trades I got. Then I'm gonna take profit set too. But y'all got any other questions? Anything y'all want me to drop? Anything too? Because other than that, we took, uh, we hit on all of the main points. Bring his own damn player. Have you seen it? I think we good. Hey, we got to try to get a London session in, bro. Either if Drew don't do it, one of y'all can do the London session. Or I will. It don't matter. I'm up for, is it, is it the same thing? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I can do one Wednesday. Me too. Me too. I'll be on that thing. Okay. It'll be cool. Oh, that's what you got. I'm going to hit that boy Drew up and see where he is. I don't know. I ain't hollered at him today. <laughs> it's Monday. Drew off clean his mind before he fucks something up Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give you bread? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, people texting me telling my Bitcoin really gonna hit 10k. <laughs> Friday, wait, baby, Friday, wait. Tell me that. It's they going on, man. That's why I think a 
Well, yeah, I think I'm gonna get about to get ready to close out on this webinar, and then we could I'll chop it up in the group still, because I'm gonna still be looking at my screens and stuff. But we'll just close out on the webinar. All right, we'll talk to you later. That's a bad. Uh, we're still in the group chat, so just, we're just uh, trap gaming now.